it was definitely we definitely needed Nick, our producer's help in focusing our energy. And I think with him coming out on the road on that 20th mm-hmm. anniversary tour, he was able to kind of harness that and see what the crowd reacts to, and you know, and um, get a better sense for where you were going with everything. Yeah, and I think that helped kind of like man, you know, and you know, he sat us down at, in the beginning of this thing and basically told us like as a as a fan you know as a, as a fan of your band for for many years he's like what happened to the heavy guitarist what happened to the back and forth thing with with you and head you know what mm-hmm. where you know this is a meeting that head and i had with um him and he's like where's the the, the angry screaming vocals over the heavy riffs you know where's feel these bass like where's his <laughs> bass like he's, you can't even hear his bass anymore like that slapping thing that you know so many people love including me so kind of the hallmarks that he yeah and, he, and he's like sounds. as a fan he got, he kind of put his neck out there like in the, in the sense that like we may not like what we were about to hear you yeah, know definitely. but he was like willing to take that chance and be honest with us and you know some of it was difficult to hear but he was right i mean in, in making records you sort of you want to keep things creative. You want to keep things fresh. You want to keep going and evolving and making things, you know, just feel like you're making progress along your career, especially when it spans over 20 years. I think yeah. that you've got to kind of like, where am I, uh, where am I headed with this? You know, and we played on, you know, Nick Rascal and our producer was able to point out those things and, and lay them out in a way that, Look, you can still do, you know, the weird guitar noises. We could still do the heavy riffs intermixed with this electronic sound that's not mm-hmm. overpowering, that's not dominating the whole track. And that you guys can actually use this to your advantage as to what you already do. And if you listen to a lot of early hip hop, I mean, we were just mimicking a lot of the Cypress Hill and yeah, NWA. That's out of your realm to begin with. You know, when you think about it, industrial stuff and, you know, we're trying to use some of those elements, even on tracks like Helmet in the Bush, where there's just drum machine. That's basically a drum machine song that you're hearing. Um, I don't know. It's just kind of using all of our strengths. And he was able to kind of put it in a perspective where it's like everybody can have what they want. The fans can have what they want. You can have a record that you're all proud of. Mm hmm. And you just, it just have, it's going to be hard work. It's going to be hard work. work. And it it was, it was. 